Hi parents and families of Cahaba Heights. I hope you're doing well and I just wanted to touch base with all of you and give you a few updates about things that are going on in our school. Next week, as you know, we have curriculum night. It's going to be Thursday evening beginning at 5.30 through 7 o'clock. It's a drop-in experience, so feel free to come at any time during that time period. You're welcome to stay the whole night if you like. There's going to be lots of exciting things happening. In the past, we've called this science night, but after talking with the teachers, we really wanted to emphasize lots of areas happening in our school. So we will be talking about science, but we'll also be talking about other curriculum areas like math and reading and our special areas too. So we want to make sure that you get a good glimpse of all that's happening in our school. And really, our students are doing a fabulous job of leading in their own learning. They're setting goals and they're working to reach those goals. So curriculum night next Thursday night is a must attend. I know we've got baseball games and lots of things attending uh, are going on this spring, but please make it a priority to be here. We'd love to see you. Also, I wanted you to know about a few other things that are going on. Earlier this year, we had a parent session after our Rebel Rally that focused on safe and happy heights. And we just talked about how we are working to have positive behavioral supports throughout the whole school. We want to be positive about your kids' goals and how they can meet those. We also want to have great expectations about the goals that we set for them behaviorally. We want them to know clearly what we've asked them to do. So probably back um, in this fall, you got a behavior matrix for some of the expectations we have around areas of the school. This has really helped our teachers with having common language, such as zone voices. A zone zero means we're being quiet. Zone one is whisper talk. You may have heard your kids talk about this and seen posters around the school. We have other behaviors that we want them to exhibit throughout all the school just so that we can get along and collaboratively work together well. What we're gonna provide you at curriculum night is also a behavior matrix for home. Hopefully this will help you be able to set those same type of expectations in home and you just want it to be a resource for you. We also are having a parent-teacher book club. This book club is gonna be held in April, um, but we are asking if you'd like to be a part, we'd love for you to join us. There's gonna be a flyer going home soon, so you'll hear a little bit about that. But our teachers, a group of our teachers, and uh, faculty just really wanted to work on increasing our conversations with you about what's happening with our kids. We all want to raise kind kids. We want kids that care about each other and care about others. We want good citizens. We want kids who are generous and thoughtful and patient. And we know we want this of our kids, but we don't always know how to get there. So we're gonna to go to a resource that might help us. Uh, this book is by Thomas Lacona, and we thought it would be a great read for us our, as parents and teachers to have a good conversation. So feel free to join us for one or both of those sessions in April. You'll learn more about that soon. But if you'd like to sign up, we'll have a Google sign up so that we can know to expect you're going to be there. Uh, go ahead and order your book today, How to Raise Kind Kids. So those are just a few of the updates. I look forward to seeing you next Thursday evening here at Cahaba Heights. Thanks and have a wonderful day.